Hey, what is up guys? We are back at it today. What we have is a grain challenge deck. Now this is one that I saw on Twitter. Um, so I was, I was scrolling along and a, and a guy named Iferg, <laughs> I don't know if you guys have heard of him. Um, he had this deck and he said he's been winning some grand challenges with it. Uh, nobody believes him, of course, but I went and tried him out, and it actually works pretty decent. Um, for me, it's done some of my best consistent grand challenges in a row. Of course, hey, you know that doesn't mean 12 wins, because, well, it is what it is at this uh, point in my life for Clash Royale. But it does mean that it does pretty well. It has the cannon card in it, has the Night Witch in it, and uh, the Giant, of course and has three spells so you're looking at a three spell deck which is pretty fun to play with let's not talk around about it anymore let's just get into a battle and kind of show you what it does um more often than not surprisingly enough i've been able to three crown people with it which is pretty cool because i don't know if they're shocked or surprised or confused by it but i am able to just go ahead and smoke them because they pretty much just give up and the pump i don't know what to do right now because i should have fireballed it <laughs> but i didn't so i'm just going to throw a giant bandit down and we'll see what we can do with that action right now we'll go ahead and fireball now boom oh that kind of worked out really decent. let's go ahead and zap all that oh i should have arrowed um arrow zap and fireball that many spells in one deck is absolutely absurd and it's fun because it kind of messes with people too because they're like, okay, they just use their zap, he's got nothing, then all of a sudden arrows, boom! <laughs> it's like in your face. So pretty cool that way too. <laughs> okay, so let's get a Night Witch. Um, we should be able to get a giant down right in front of this action too. Yep, not a problem. So he's got Night Witch as well. He's probably rocking Golem. That's my 100% uh, guess is Golem because he's got Night Witch. So we'll just keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and fireball all that, and then we're going to arrow all that, too. Um, actually, we don't need to arrow. Let's just hold off here for a second. We'll just chill. We'll just chill, guys. Um, we should take out that pump. That's awesome. Glad we could take out a pump. Do not want to deal with the golem at all. <laughs> but even if we do, we should be able to handle it fairly decently. We do have the cannon card, as you well know. Haven't used it yet, but we have it. It's in our back pocket. Um, so let's go cannon card on this side. And then we'll go with a fatty. It looks like he's gonna pump up, even though we put that down. That's cool. And let's go. Let's go ban it in here. Cannon cart locking on the tower is huge. Absolutely huge. So if you can get the cannon cart locked on the tower, you're in great shape. The cannon cart won't retarget after it dies too, so it stays locked on the tower. You know how those goblins came down? It won't retarget. It stays locked on the tower and keeps pounding away at it. So it's pretty awesome that way. Let's put a giant down just to defend. Perfect. Um, <laughs> yes. There we go. And there's his golem. He finally popped that thing out. Um, dang. Those guys are going to rock me. I kind of want the cannon cart to die. I don't think it's going to, very unfortunately. But that's okay. He did lightning something. I don't know what he lightning, but I like it. I do like it. And then let's go with another... Actually, let's fireball this. Boom. Yes, we got that fireball action in. Let's go giant just to defend again arrows and this is pretty much wrapped up right here he, there's no way he can catch up to us even if he were to get one tower there's no way he's getting two so <laughs> that's pretty much that deck in a nutshell right there worked out pretty well again so that was a golem night witch deck we just beat with a cannon card deck so <laughs> dude Dude, I like this deck a lot. It is fun. It is fun. It's different. It's just different. I've never I, I don't usually play with a deck with three spells in it, so that's what's exciting about it. That's what I like about it. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Alright, let's see if we can get another win from you. The ones that I have struggled with are just people that are better than me. <laughs> so that's what I struggle with most. <laughs> so if you're they're better than me, then they, they usually beat me. So let's go like this and then let's throw a night witch in there, unfortunately. Oof. Come on. Yes, that uh, wizard is focused on my... Mm, that's going to hurt just really badly. There we go. Let's get a shot off on that thing. There we go. Perfect. I'm okay. We took a little bit of damage there, um, but it could have been worse. It could have been worse, I think. Oh, that's interesting. So let's go, let's go cannon cart right here. I don't want to use my giant up just yet. Um, 
that stinks. That stinks really bad. That was unfortunate. Well played with the Inferno Dragon. Did not see that coming. Did not see that coming, guys. Now, ow, what we're going to do, well, let's throw the giant in the back. Let's get a push built up here. Okay, that was a mistake. That was a fatty mistake. We're going to take a lot of damage. Hopefully not two shots. If he zaps, that's two shots. Um, oh, we didn't take, wow, that's weird. I thought we would take some action that way. I'm not going to worry about that. Mega Minion took out the balloon and the wizard. Wow, that is awesome. Fantastic. We're going to go ahead and zap here. He's going to throw his Inferno Dragon down again if he's back to it. I don't know if he is, but we got this tower smoked. Absolutely smoked. Did not need the bandit. That was a little excessive. My bad. Um, he may have quit already. This is what I'm talking about, guys. This is what I'm talking about. He quit already. I don't know. I think it's because my Mega Minion smoked 10 Elixir. I think that's why he got pissed off. I would have got pissed off, too. I'm surprised the Mega Minion did that well, but <laughs> I'll take it. That's two wins right under our belt here. Let's go ahead and see if we can win another. What quest am I going for anyway today? Looks like 500 cards. Ooh, and I did pop up a legendary chest up in there. So that's pretty exciting. Um, we're going to be earning that pretty soon. Which, that's awesome. <laughs> um, okay, let's go... Subtle Brigand. Okay, whatever. Um, I like how the pros always do like their ninth or their 10th, 11th, 12th win, and I always start out with my first, second, third win. Oh crap. Let's go Giant right here, and then I'm gonna go Night Witch. We're just gonna put a counter push on this thing since he rocked his bandit, is what it is. Do, 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 what has he got, what has he got? Something crazy, yes, something crazy for sure. Um, hopefully the bats take that little thing out. No, he did zap, that was a good zap. That was a good zap, I like that. Let's go Cannon Cart. Um, zap ourself and then yes perfect oh man that cannon card is beast guys <laughs> absolutely beast still alive still alive ready to fight another day um, I don't know the bandit dang it the bandit is gonna rock its world unfortunately but we will be able to stop the bandit and the ice golem not a problem and then we'll have a push to get going here and it's just a second we're gonna put the giant down in the back of course because that's the smartest move unfortunately with what he's got, he's got that uh, Dark Prince, so he should be able to do something about it. Oh, no, he's pumping up. Oof. Well, let's go ahead and we'll just take this tower real quick. We should be able to take it with Nightwish Giant, not use too much Elixir. I mean, that is all my Elixir, but um, Nightwish Giant should work out pretty decent. Let's go ahead and we're going to Fireball that, and we are going to Zap that. Boom! That's gone. That's 6 Elixir, 4, 9 Elixir. I'm 100% okay with that. And we're taking out his Dark Prince too. Uh, he's got to be pissed right now. <laughs> he has got to be pissed right now. Oh, and we took out a couple of his bats with our Night Witch. <laughs> nice. <laughs> let's go Mega Minion over here, I guess. Um, and then let's go Bandit for his Bandit. He's got to put his can his uh, Battle Ram down right here, right? Boom. No Battle Ram. Oh crap, I'm wasting Elixir like crazy. Let's go fireball on that. Boom. I'm not going to worry about zapping them. They'll just die. Let's go cannon card over here. And then we're going to go... Oh, man. He put battle ram on that side, huh? Good for him. Oh, crap. I missed that zap, like, so bad. <laughs> Where was that zap even to? Uh, this is really bad, actually, because... Um, shoot. I can't believe how badly I missed that zap just now. Okay. Let's go that. No! Zap. No! Oh crap. That was really bad. Really bad. Ooh, he's doing really well now. How did, how did he all of a sudden do really well after doing so badly? He may put... Okay, so we're going to definitely fireball that. There we go. Now we got to focus a little bit. I thought we had this in the bag, and then we all of a sudden fell apart. Sorry, guys. I thought I just kind of gave up on it. I gave up like I thought, hey, this, thing, this thing's over. Um, let's do that. Perfect. Perfect. Zap that. Boom. We don't want those bats. We don't want to deal with them. Let's go ban it up on his. There we go. Um, poof, cannon cart in the middle. Yes. Okay, we got a lot of action over there, guys. We do have a lot of action. We should be able to get all of that. No, we missed his bandit. That is very unfortunate. 
Can we stop his battle ram? Yes. Um, we gotta get one more push going is what we got to do. Let's go giant in the mid up here. And then hopefully he drops his three musketeers not in our middle. But we're gonna go zap those. Boom. Fireball. He keeps lumping them all together, which I'm okay with. Yes, yes, yes. We're down 825. <laughs> this shouldn't even have gone to this, but it did. So, is what it is, guys. Is what it is. Let's go cannon cart. That. An arrow. No, we don't need the arrow. Let's go bandit right here. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Ah, ah, ah. Come on. Arrow's that. I don't think I need the arrow. That was a little too much. Gosh, dang it. Come on, can we get them all? Yes. Yes, we can. All right, just die, musketeers. Please, 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 please die. We're going to go giant up here with a mega minion. Should be able to stop that battle ram. Come on. No, didn't stop it. Zap it. Boom, there we go. We still get a giant going in, but the musketeer is smoking us, very unfortunately. Dang it, this battle has turned for the worse. Uh, we got to put a night witch down just to defend that. Oh, yes. Okay, let's go bandit in the middle with a fireball action. No, the bandit's going to go for that. Oh, man, I thought the bandit was going to go something else. Come on, we got this, we got this, we got this. Yes. Wow, that was close, guys. That was really close. That shouldn't have been that close, but it was close. Anyway, able to pull it out against... I think we played some of the most iconic decks. Um, let's look at this again. So you have three Musketeers, Battle Ramp, beat them. Um, don't know what that second deck was we played. And then you have Golem, Night Witch, beat it. So that's great. That worked out really well. Check out this deck. Um, I actually really like it. Special thanks to Iferg, of course, for showing it to us. Way cool. Anyway, thank you guys so much for dropping by the channel today. Take it easy and good luck.